Hi students, welcome. In this video, we will study about the parallel flow heat exchangers. So students, see here, suppose this is a pipe, okay, as you can see here, okay, and suppose this pipe is inside the another big pipe. So I am here drawing uh, another big power pipe as you can see here. And suppose we have given here the another here one opening for this pipe this big pipe and here another opening for this pipe okay for the liquid or fluid inlet and fluid outlet okay and so that see here now this is our small pipe pipe and this is our big pipe okay now for the see here here in this small pipe which is inside this big pipe we have here the uh, fluid hot fluid which is flowing in this direction as you can see here what hot fluid is coming from this direction and going in this direction and coming out from this uh, another side so here this is the inlet inlet of hot water hot what hot fluid you can call it fluid and suppose it has a temperature th1 okay and this is the outlet of the hot water okay outlet of hot water and it has here temperature suppose th2 okay and now see here and in and in this big pipe okay which is around this small pipe we have here the flow of fluid from this direction that is from here liquid is coming or fluid is coming and going like this in this in the same direction as hot fluid okay in the same direction as hot fluid as you can see here and this uh, cold fluid will come out from this uh, another side so here this is the cold fluid inlet so here cold fluid inlet and it has uh, suppose temperature tc1 okay and here this is the cold fluid outlet suppose okay cold fluid fluid outlet right and suppose this at the outlet it has a um, temperature this cold fluid has a temperature t c 2 okay now see here as you can see here both the hot fluid and the cold fluid are here flowing in the same direction as you can see here from the left word to the right word so this is called this is called as parallel flow because these both fluids are flowing in the same direction from inlet to the outlet as you can see here okay now see here because of this here this hot uh, hot fluid will transfer the heat to the cold fluid in this parallel flow heat exchangers because of that the here see here see in this diagram in this uh, from this diagram you can see he see here see here now uh, as this hot fluid will transfer the heat to the cold fluid so here see t h1 is greater than t h2 
and see here when this cold fluid is flowing at the inlet its temperature its temperature will be low and because of transfer of heat from the hot fluid to the cold fluid at the outlet tc2 temperature will be greater than the tc1 temperature so here see tc2 temperature tc2 cold fluid outlet temperature is greater than tc1 okay here this is the um, cold flare inlet temperature tc2 is the cold flare outlet temperature so here see now in the heat exchanger always th1 is that is uh, hot water hot flare inlet temperature is greater than hot water outlet temperature and uh, related to cold flare cold fluid outlet temperature is always greater than cold fluid inlet temperature as you can see here now see to understand this parallel fluid exchanger we will draw now one graph so for that here see suppose here this is our graph outline okay and suppose here this is a temperature line this is our temperature line and here see suppose this is our length okay length length means here see suppose this is t this is l length means here this is the length of the length of the pipe is called as here length here it is a length of pipe in our case okay so here as here as we increases increase the length of the pipe there will be the more area more time and more time will get the hot fluid to transfer the heat to the cold fluid so as the length increases here we will get um, uh, outlet temperature uh, more lesser okay now see from the graph here now first see here i am drawing the graph for the hot fluid so here temperature of the hot fluid at the inlet will be the high so here this is the high temperature and at the outlet its temperature goes on decreasing so graph will be like this okay and for in case of cold fluid temperature of the cold fluid at the inlet will be the it will be less so here this graph will uh, will be drawn from the bottom as like this suppose this is a temperature and this graph will go like this here as you can see here okay so now see suppose this is our line here at this length okay l okay suppose and here we have now see this is our th1 here th1 and this is our th2 th2 this is our tc1 and uh, here this is our tc2 okay so here this is our line here and this is our temperature at this point okay so here see here as you can see from the graph also as the length increases the, the, the heat transfer is more as the length increases the there will be the heat trans more heat transfer so here we can call we can say that here length is directly proportional to the heat transfer right okay so now see here and here see remember one thing that in parallel flow heat exchangers we need large area for the heat transfer for this for parallel flow heat exchanger heat exchangers we need large area for heat transfer okay and so that's why here that's why so here so this parallel flow heat exchangers are rarely used in practice okay
सो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी हैव अंडरस्टूड अबाउट पैरल फ्लो हिट एक्सचेंजेस थैंक यू स्टूडेंट्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो लाइक शेयर एंड कमेंट फॉर दिस वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल थैंक यू